Alrighty guys, a lot of people like my little last nymph time video. Get, go on, get. Dogs are soaking wet. I don't know if you can hear me real good because of all the rain on my metal garage. But I'll do another fly time video today since several people seem to like the other one. Um, I'm gonna tell you a dry fly today. It's a foam body caddis. And then I added a um, little piece of foam like parachute to it. Just something I kind of created. I, I look at all this stuff on Google and then I kind of just kind of twist it up to, uh, to how I want it. You know what I mean? To make changes. Okay, so let me start here. Size 16, thin wire, dry fly hook. Thin sheet of foam from Hobby Lobby, 99 cents, big sheets. Now, all I do, I'll cut like the width of my body, but I'll double it because it, this is kind of thin, thinner than what I like. So then I will actually, once I cut it, I'll put me a little strip of super glue down it, fold it over to make my body a little bit thicker. And then I just trim to what I want for my body size. Uh, let me see. That's just kind of what I trimmed up. And you can see where I glued it together. But it'll look really good, trust me, once we get started. Alrighty. So now we'll tie our thread on. I'll tie it down just a little past the tip of my hook. And then I'll put a little like, uh, I might put like a little egg sack, like it's got a little egg sack on it. So I just got a little piece of orange thread. And I'll tie it on with a few wraps. Get too much thread out. Come on now. Don't cooperate with me. There we go. So I'll tie it on and I'll make some wraps with it to make me a little egg sack on the back of this. Caddis. I ain't gonna tie it big, just just enough for we'll tie it off. So now we've got it tied. So now I'll come about halfway up the shank of my hook. I don't know if you guys can see that or not, but I'm about halfway up. And now I'm gonna tie my body. And on the front, let me see. I have took my scissors and I've made it kind of to a point so that I can tie it on easier. So I'll start about where I started trimming the foam and I will tie it on like so so now we've got us a little little body on it I like that thicker because dry fly fishing is my favorite but it seems like it's unless it's just unless it's right um, probably catch more on nymphs altogether I probably do catch more on nymphs but if I use enough foam to make it really float, I can tie a dropper with a nymph, like a nymph out of the last video. Um, I'll put that link below in case you didn't see it. But I can tie me like a dropper 12 or 14 inches below it with a nymph. So I can cover top of the water and then, you know, 14, 
12, whatever inches you want below the water with a nymph. Okay, her body's on there. Let me see. I'm gonna get me a piece of hackle here. Get a little bit of dry fly hackle. So we'll get it started. And all I do, I, I fluff up that hackle, if you can see it. And then I'll trim actually some of the threads off of it. So I got something good to tie to, so I'm not making a big blob. Let me see. I don't know if y'all can see that. I don't know if it'll focus or not, but that's what I got. So now I'll tie it on. With a couple wraps. Okie dokie. So now, I'm gonna put a little bit of deer hair on it to make me some wings. So I got my hair stacker. All this hair stacker does is make sure that the tip of my deer hair is all the exact same length. That way I ain't got like some long or some shorter like that. I got me a little piece of deer hair here. You don't have to have much, just a little bit for this fly. So I'm gonna cut a little piece off of it. I've got about that much there. I'm gonna stick it in my hair stacker. So I can get it to go. So you just drop it in there. Now you just tap it. Too dumb on these videos. So I just tap it. Now I just slide that out like so. Now all my hair is the same length. So I'm actually going to tie it on, trim off a little bit. Of this extra here. I want it about the length of my body. So now we got us some little wings on there. So it looks like a fly now. I will trim off my excess. Alrighty, so I got that baby on there. So now I'm gonna put on my parachute here. So I can get my hackle to stay out of the way. There we go. Now for my parachute, I don't know what the kids ordered, but some foam like this came in the box, whatever they ordered. So, I just cut me off a piece of that foam, and I trim it to the size of my parachute that I want. like those parachutes because it helps me see my fly when it's floating down the creek and actually I'm going to make that parachute stand up with my hackle which is this so now all I've got to do is wrap my hackle behind it here and that's making that parachute stand up this hackle will help it float as well. And then I'll go in front of it. I'll make me some wraps in front of it. Then I'll 
just tie off my hackle feather there in the front. So boom, we got it. Also tying atoms like this, kind of like a parachute atoms, but I make the body a little bit skinnier. So then you trim off your hackle and tie you a good knot. And that baby is done. We'll put me just a drip of head cement on it. Or super glue. Right on my knot. And just a drip. Give you guys a good look at it here in just a second. My finish fly. These things are awesome. Take this out. Let me see what I can get focused on. I don't know if it'll focus very good. Let me switch if I switch it'll. But anyway, there it is. Look at that little bit of orange under it. That little egg sack. That's it. Number 16, foam body, parachute caddis. That right there is great for anything. Any kind of trout to eat that baby. Especially them little brookies. Them brookies can't pass him up. All right, check out some of my videos. Hit that like and subscribe button if you want to see more. All right, bye.